Joseph YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Shishi Said. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. One question for you guys. Simple question. When are we going to learn? My wife just got back from a girl's trip in Costa Rica, and you won't believe what happened. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Indeed. My wife recently returned from a girl's trip to Costa Rica. I overheard her on the phone saying to her girlfriend, I haven't told him about that part yet. And so I asked her, what the hell was she talking about? Mm. At first, she tried to shut me down by saying that I had no business eavesdropping on her conversation. And she refused to say anything further about, to me about it. Yeah. But I didn't let it go. And she told me that she had a naked massage while she was in Costa Rica. And it included a happy ending. I feel as though this is a form of cheating. I feel like she violated our marriage vows, but I'm not sure if it's really considered cheating or being unfaithful to me. I did my research and there are facilities in Costa Rica that allow you to receive massages with happy endings for both women and men. I asked her how she would feel if I did that and she said she would be okay with it if I was on vacation and got a massage. I don't believe her though. You guys believe that? The only way <laughs> it's just wild man the only way a woman would be okay with that like literally being like go ahead have fun is if she is not telling the whole truth let's get back into it i feel a way and i can't shake it my wife shouldn't be having anyone else other than me or her own self rubbing on her p-u-s-s-y i didn't want to say it but that's what he wrote i say that it's cheating can you tell me what stan says about this <laughs> Man, this is tough. So, um, the <laughs> first thing I... Is it, Stan? But is it? The first thing I need to know in Costa Rica, was this a woman or a man rubbing on your... Uh, Does it matter? Know. Yes. Really? I, can you just verify? Can I, I, he I didn't know. say. Okay, well, that's one of the got, things I need to be naked, clear on. A naked okay? massage that's and gonna, she, that's and she gonna received a happy ending. Well, and then the second thing is how happy was the damn ending? Like... Was it, uh, she had how did you get the orgasm? Is By I mean. massaging. They massage your body. The way it works is they massage your entire body. Yeah. And then they say, do you want a happy ending? I've never had You're one, really by clear the way. on this. Like, you talking, <laughs> you talking to me as though I've your never, happy endings I've be regular. Like, I've never had one. Yeah. But what they do is... I've like, just read a lot about it just in case I go to Costa Rica or okay. Thailand or something. Okay, so let's act like this right. you. Okay. Okay, let's act like and it's me. So, is it an um, issue if I come a, back from Costa Rica and I be like, bae... I had a massage, but yeah. at the end it was a happy ending. Yeah, it's and definitely it was it's a violation. It's a violation for sure. So you yeah. said it would matter if it was. Would it matter well, if it was? Well, it's not a, as much a as a violation if it's a female. Okay, yeah, I'm just saying. Hold up, hold up, hold on, man. Comment, comment down below. I need to know. Does it matter? I'm curious, man. Does it matter if it's because to me I don't care, man, woman, he, them, she, non-binary. I don't give a. It, 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 no nobody should be out there touching my woman except for me now listen i know some of you guys are into this shit let's not act like we don't have some freaks subscribe to the coffee pot so don't be shy be honest if all right a, if a man rubbed on you it's a violation this is what it is and so, so now we can say. even the score because now they have happy endings for men and so now this is how we're going to fix it. I'm going to go. I'm gonna no, go. Too, no, if you yeah, think it's nah. wrong, it's wrong. No, it's if not it's wrong. wrong I'm going. Now I'm going to write the wrong because we're going to even the score. So that we're going to make it right. That's not how you even I'm going to go score. get my ending happy. And that's what we're doing now. The, damn it. The ending got to get happy. Yours was happy. <laughs> Shit, you was all over the place floating. And you come home and bragged about it. You must be crazy. I'm going to Costa Rica for that. Man, where's my flight? You don't have to go to Costa Rica for that. <laughs> okay, well, I don't, I'd rather go there because this around here, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get happy over there. Baby, you uh, My ending going to get happy in Costa Rica. Can be happy I'm just right trying to tell home. you what's going to happen. <laughs> Yours could have been happy at home, but nah, you wanted to lay all on the bench naked with the uh, people. It's not so, really me. And so at the end of the day, it's a no. <laughs> you can't be getting happy damn endings unless it's a couple's massage. That's a, a violation, bro. So if wait, it's not okay. That, so if it's a couple's worth, massage, then you, ain't, you, there, you ain't worth a damn if you did it. If you you're there, then I can get a happy ending while you watching or something? Is that See, what you're now saying? You, now you, then you went back over. I said Hebrews do certain stuff and the other people do certain stuff. Remember I said it earlier in the show? I'm yeah. trying to get clarity because I it don't It apply want everywhere, Terry. 
I remember when I was in Atlanta trying to film, this white man came up to me while we were filming, and he had his drunk wife, and they asked me to go back to their room because he wanted me to please his wife. Black people don't do that. I swear we don't. It's, okay. You don't get that drunk. Yeah. And so this is something that's natural for others. Don't try to make that ours. Don't bring those kind of I things. I bet this was so, a black person that wrote this. It is. But what I want y'all to do is don't do that. Because you don't want him to do it. You would be in your feelings if you went to Costa Rica and she was over there whoop de doing with him. And, and it was a real happy ending. And he came home like, girl, you don't even know. When I went to Costa Rica, she was whoop de whooping me. And it was well, boop. well. And you will be like, what? And you will go off. And so it has to be a, a fair situation. You don't want nobody violating. It's a violation. Okay. So my input... Thank so you, you can't baby, do that for your miss. advice. My... And don't shun him when he try to talk to you about it. Just be honest and say what it is. Well, she said it. you had no business eavesdropping on my conversation. Let's address that part. If I'm talking on the phone to my girlfriend, you have no business asking me any questions this about the conversation. This is called curbing the situation. Don't what? curb nothing with me. I'm too gangster for that. So when you play with me like that, I go right back over there and say, "Don't play with them. Don't play with me." And so it's a no. Don't curb me because you when you. And then that's my business when you're doing that because we live in the same house. That's right. So it's your okay. Yeah, you so you that. you heard that y'all right? Yeah. So it's my I don't business. I'm be choo choo chewing and all that. I ain't got that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and so at the end of the day, it's a no, sir, ma'am. You can't do the happy ending. It's a violation. You can't get naked before nobody that slim don't know what you're doing unless it's another woman. Um, you can't do it. You just can't. It's a violation. Okay, so my my input is very similar to Stan's this time. I do feel like, you know, getting a happy ending and you're married and your happy ending is not done um, with your spouse's consent. So if you watch, then it's okay if you come and watch. I'm not okay with it. Look, I told you from the beginning. I'm telling everybody now. So everybody, let's be all be clear about my What's going on? What? what? I don't think anyone should see his except me or his doctor. Well, she ain't got to look at it. No. They shouldn't see it, touch it, smell it, so how, feel it, so you can unless get it's happy. me or the doctor. Okay. Period. Well, everybody clear, sir. We all clear. So I just wanted to know why you think it's okay. I didn't say that. I said, I don't think that it is. I said, I think that it is a violation if you're married and your spouse doesn't know about it or your spouse doesn't approve of it. If your spouse cool with it, then, hey, get your happy ending on or, you know what I so mean? So just remember, anything you consent to is not cheating. If 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 you end on it or know about it, it's not cheating. Right. That's why I said if Are your you, spouse... If your spouse oh, is okay, but I just wanted to be clear. I'm not okay. So, no, happy endings for okay, you, sir. sir. All, right. Every- All right. So, um, there you go, man. We're going to check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. That was uh, a crazy story. By the way, I like what was said there at the very end. The guy said, anything you did not consent to as the partner of your woman is cheating, right? And, um, you know, for me, that goes as far as if you're okay with the woman going on girls trips, you are inevitably consenting to her cheating on you to her doing something that you would not be okay with her doing if you were in her presence so my whole thing is is, is if you're going to be okay because there's always a guy man there's always somebody who's like no i'm not going to be controlling i'm like you don't have to control nothing bro you set the standards you set expectations if she doesn't meet them that's not the woman for you but anyways if you're cool with it and it happens don't cry on camera don't end up on the coffee pod talking about i can't believe she did this what should have listened should have drunk that coffee let's check out a few of these comments first comment here says to me when you're married girls trips and boys trips should be couples trips too much temptation this gentleman says 200 plus likes another commenter here added that's a hell no the fact she wasn't going to tell him let you know she knows it was wrong get rid of her and by the way i don't believe the whole story i think there was more that happened right and she didn't clarify whether it's a woman that was a man in there that was a man in there and you're telling me that man restrained himself and he's he keeps things professional come on now. drink the coffee it'll make you feel better drink the coffee you make you feel better next comment says laughing emojis man go get a lawyer 100 likes another comment here he says happy ending mean she got effed now the commenter here added imagine what dj envy's wife got on her 20 day girls trip with the laughing emojis yo i actually covered this yo you guys you guys are layers in the comment section um another person responded back to that dude with laughing emoji says damn bro be wilding on radio shows exhibiting their dumbness and misleading young males and the final comment on this thread says he is captain sim yeah dj envy man Hmm. another person here added she knew it was wrong and a violation hence 
the reason why she didn't tell him initially and got offended. Another comment says, two wrongs don't make it right, but she got to go. Another comment says, keyword, girl's trip. Yep, that's a problem. Another comment here wrote, happy ending to sad ending. Another gentleman here added, that sounds like a free pass, my good brother. It's all in how you think about it. You are not going to leave her over this. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. We'll probably never know. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.